Climate change is messing with our weather patterns and seasons. This means that we're sometimes seeing earlier and longer lasting summers. And those summers come with a number of heat waves. Several have already pummeled cities across the Southwest, Central US, and more. But more heat isn't just annoying, it's dangerous. When someone is exposed to high temperatures for too long, it can cause a heat injury. That means someone's body can't regulate itself anymore. And one of the first big stages of heat injury is heat exhaustion. Our body stops circulating blood like it usually would at this stage. We become tired, we feel headaches, and we sweat a lot. And some people even experience extreme nausea, vomiting, and muscle cramps. If someone experiences these symptoms and they don't try to get some rest, chug sports drinks, or find a cooler place to sit, this can progress into heat stroke. This is an even more dangerous stage of heat injury. People in this stage are hot to the touch, they stop sweating, and they might even pass out. Some even have seizures. Anyone experiencing these symptoms needs to go to hospital right away. And it's important to be mindful of our symptoms during an especially hot day. Do not ignore any headaches, take breaks if you're outside, and carry an extra drink. Do all of that, and don't let heat injury disrupt your summer fun.